Okay, does anyone here, just by, by a show of hands, uh, does anyone have like a subscription to the New York Times or LA Times, Washington Post, something like that? Okay, can I ask a big favor? If there is an article that I want to read coming up, can I send you a hyperlink to that article? And can you copy and paste the rich text and put it into a PDF for me and send it back to me? Because you see, I am currently unable to justify a subscription to the gray lady. Because I'm currently subscribed to too many OnlyFans accounts. I am, I am, I'm spending upwards to $120 a month on OnlyFans accounts, and it's all people that I know. It's all people that I know. Ugh. Here's how I got into this mess. All right, so during during the pandemic, virtually like any and every conventionally attractive gay guy that I know, and even some who aren't, started like an alt Instagram account that was basically like thirst traps in the name of body positivity. Do you know what I mean? Like it was always the same thing. It was always like a picture of their naked ass against a rustic landscape with like a Bernay Brown quote in the caption, right? Like courage is contagious, is it though? But anyway, so... Every once in a while, they throw, up, they throw up an Instagram story saying, bored, ask me anything. And invariably, one of their lurker followers would be like, show me your dick. Send me a photo of your penis. You are naked all the time. This shouldn't be a stretch. Send me a picture of your dick. And they would screen cap that. And they would caption it. And they'd say, wow, inappropriate. <laughs> Consent is sexy. This is a body positivity account. I am a gay male Lizzo. How dare you? But then, every once in a while, they'd throw up an Instagram story saying, click here for premium content, embarrassed monkey emoji. And I did. I clicked on all of them. I subscribed to all of them. As it turns out, I know an elementary school teacher by day. Oh, I see you, boo. I know an elementary school teacher by day who is into public jerk offery which is what it's called clinically. I know I know a male librarian, because they're letting men do that now, huh? Who, who is into piss drinkery? I know someone who can get off on being pantsed. Yeah, pantsed. In that, all of his videos are portrait mode of him standing there unsuspectingly, and then someone comes and yanks his pants down. He's like, oh, to the point in which one such video, his hard dick springs forth and he comes from being pantsed. <laughs> Hand free coming from being pantsed. Uh, and, and that is definitely his most popular video. <laughs> A lot of, lot of clicks, a lot of clicks. And anyway, I'm really happy for him because he was just working this rudderless government job before that. I'm just really, I'm really happy he found his niche. I'm really happy for him, but I'm happier for myself because ever since I made that a bit, I was able to write off all of my OnlyFans subscriptions on my taxes. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you for being part of my research. <laughs>